Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're going to have a look also into the Ethereum price and we're also going to have to check out the DXY and Nasdaq as well because also there we have some very important uh, price movements. So first let's do a smaller recap here what happened with the bitcoin price after topping out here at fifty-eight thousand dollar? we created this falling wedge we broke out to the upside bullish pattern then we created this ascending broadening wedge a bearish pattern broke out now to the downside i also closed my long position uh, that i opened up yesterday with a small profit because i used a stop loss as soon as we had here this attempt of fighting this 50k area so i'm out of my trade but of course i'm looking again to re-enter and by the way my friends if you're trading over on bybit then make sure to claim this bonus from this bybit victors bounty because like this you can really get a lot of bonus if you're anyway trading on bybit so take advantage of these rewards that you can get completely for free on the bybit side and now since we have broken out to the downside from this ascending broadening wedge you can see that we are forming another descending broadening wedge which of course is a bullish pattern and we should expect here a big breakout to the upside potentially to retest this 52 to 54 thousand dollar if here we're going to have a successful breakout to the upside from this resistance that is coming down here currently at around 49 thousand dollar so even though of course it is bearish that we are falling now again towards 40k at least for now we are forming this potential bullish pattern here in the four hour time frame after this breakout also right now we are getting supported by the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame so even though we could fall below the 200 moving average latest here at around 44 to 42 thousand dollar at this support down here in my opinion we will get a big bounce to the upside because there we have have a lot of support coming in and that's why I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see here pretty soon another breeder to the upside and also if you are looking at my own indicator you can see that we are coming into very oversold condition usually here and on discord we are trading the three hour time frame and as you can see very very soon we are getting here a buy signal so definitely gonna take this long opportunity down here we most likely can open up a trade here between 46,000 down to 45,500 dollar in order to have this breather towards this resistance at 49,000 and then put a stop loss in profits because if here we're getting again rejected right at the resistance and right where the EMA ribbons are lining up right now to get out of the trade with a profit because if we're getting rejected here we could see another fall down towards this 44 to 42 thousand dollar area before then maybe we gear up for another big move to the upside i don't think that we will go lower than the support line down here at around 42,000. but if so then i think the drop could be really huge and then you maybe even think about to open up a short position down to 30k because that is the target if 42,000 will not hold because 30k would be the next bearish target if this 42,000 dollar will not hold as a strong support if it is likely i don't think so but it is possible of course since we are having some very huge warning signs over in the dxy but we will have a look at that later on so here i'm expecting very soon a possible breather to the upside to maybe retest this 49,000 dollar maybe even go to retest the previous support which now could be acting as a new resistance here at 49,500 dollar so be careful if you're longing here with this buy signal that could appear very soon make sure to put a stop loss as soon as in profits because we could get heavily rejected here and at the end we maybe even could form a potential head and shoulders pattern we have here the left shoulder the head and here we could be maybe forming a right shoulder and then we could see a possible breakout here below $42,000 and crash all the way down to 30k this is at least the worst case scenario I don't think it is very likely but it is possible that that could happen if here we're going to create a head and shoulders pattern you know that in the past those patterns not always played out that's why I don't give it too much significance especially if for example the DXY starting to plunge again or we 
we get a very good buy signal in the daily time frame then i'm expecting a, a huge recovery and targets between 75 to 100k incoming pretty soon but if this would play out, if we would lose this $42,000 support, then I think we could even crash all the way down towards 30 k i wouldn't sell because of that so make sure that you're using this as a good buy opportunity if we're gonna see a crash and otherwise just hold your bitcoin if you are having a stressful time right now then just do something else just go away from the charts and come back in maybe in a couple of weeks back because like this you will have a way stressless life and of course also you will not make mistakes by selling right now it's always good to take some profits if you have to buy something or you see another better investment but just to sell right now in order to hope that you can buy cheaper in later is a big big mistake so don't do that my friends just huddle just be patient this is the key thing that you have to respect here in trading and of course also in hodling bitcoin because like this you will gain the most without doing anything and if we're gonna see a dip just buy more like this you will have even a better average entry price once we're gonna moon here towards 100k and higher so in the four hour time frames there are some warning signs but i'm expecting a possible breather at least towards 49 thousand dollar area incoming pretty soon important is that we're not gonna fall below the support that we currently have here at, at around 45 to 42 thousand dollars so we shouldn't fall below these important price levels especially not close four hour candles below these price levels because then things could look really bearish in my opinion and we could even see a crash towards 30k but as long as we are maintaining these supports here i'm pretty confident that we're gonna see another big move to the upside pretty soon and if we go over into the daily time frame we can do here another fibonacci retracement because also last time i told you my friends that we are only safe once we're gonna go above the 0.618 fibonacci retracement which is here at fifty two thousand seven hundred dollars this is exactly where we came up here with this wick and then we started another correction back down and this is still in play and that's why we are only out of the woods once we are again above fifty three thousand dollar and of course as soon as we're gonna close again daily candles above the 20 daily moving average which yesterday didn't held as support we crashed again below the 20 daily moving average and right now we are again trading below this important moving average and in my opinion we will most likely here in the next coming days trade between the 20 daily moving average at fifty thousand dollar and here the 50 daily moving average right at forty two thousand dollar in my own indicator we are still flat the good thing is that the rsi is still above the 50 level so we're right at the critical point we are right at the 50 level in the rsi we shouldn't drop below otherwise we could easily see the price going towards forty two thousand dollar potentially even lower if we are not holding this 50 daily moving average but since it is a very important key moving average that also held support in the past here with this last correction i'm pretty confident that latest here we're going to see a big bounce and this is also the bottom of the ema ribbons so far so everything is looking like that latest here we should have enough support and of course 42,000 was also our last all-time high here before starting a correction that's why it has a lot of significance and there i'm expecting a huge bounce to the upside even though we're getting here a sell signal in the daily it's not a good one but at least i just want to tell you that we have a sell signal and that could indicate of course that we're just trading sideways here between the 50 and 20 daily moving average or maybe even go a bit lower towards 42,000. and now we can also go over into the weekly time frame because here i want to show you again the nine weekly moving average which is exactly here where we also should expect a big bounce to the upside here at forty two thousand dollar so if this week we can close above forty two thousand i'm pretty bullish because in that case we should expect here a big bounce to the upside the nine weekly moving average always held as a very strong support also during these corrections and in the worst case scenario that we maybe could close a weekly candle below because march usually is a bearish month for bitcoin and overall for the stock market also remember in 2020 we had this big crash down towards the 200 weekly moving average so if also this month we could see such a massive drop i think we could maybe even come down here towards thirty thousand dollar where we have the 20 weekly moving average lining up
and usually bitcoin during a bull market never comes below the 20 weekly moving average it always respects this important moving average on the way towards the next bullish targets that we always have after a halving and this is right now way above 100k based to the stock to flow model price so even though short term we could see a correction take it as a buy opportunity everything is still good we are still in our bull market we are still in an uptrend so take it as a very nice discount that you can buy in bitcoin at a cheaper price so you don't have to fomo in above 100k and now we can also go quickly over to ethereum because ethereum is also following bitcoin we also have seen here a crash and yeah everything is still looking quite bearish here for the ethereum price i'm expecting here continuation to the downside potentially to retest here this 1400 to 1350 dollar before then maybe we gear up for another big move to the upside so ethereum currently i think also will start to trade sideways as long as we are not seeing a big push to the upside in the bitcoin price and of course also here in ethereum start to close four hour candles above the 200 moving average here 1660 we got now rejected two times and i think also here ethereum most likely will start same like bitcoin to trade sideways maybe go a little bit lower but overall also here i'm expecting a buy signal pretty soon and then another attempt here to break the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame if bitcoin also is able now to push higher than this resistance with that we have here right at 49,000 dollars so be very careful if we're seeing a pump make sure if you traded this to put a stop loss uh, in profits because at 49,000, this is the first potential rejection area and if we are starting to close four hour candles above 49,000, we maybe could be again in this ascending broadening wedge which of course we have a resistance now up here at around $55,500. So that could be a nice trade if we are longing here and we are able to break $49,000 that we could easily reach here this $55,000 and then maybe create a support above previous resistance. So above this $52,000 and then move on here towards these higher targets that we have. The only big problem that we still have, my friends, is here the DXY. Yesterday we had a very big pump here above the 100 daily moving average it's been a long time since the dxy went above the 100 daily moving average and as i told you i as soon as we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside we're gonna have an explosive move towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is here at around 93 dollars and i'm actually quite surprised that bitcoin didn't crash that much so we didn't even uh, came to the 42 thousand dollar level with this huge pump that we're seeing here in the dxy of course a lot of the altcoins and also the stock market is bleeding a lot because of that but uh, the dxy is still in a bear market and i'm expecting latest here at around 93 dollars a big rejection and then a possible fall again towards the support here at around 90 dollars this of course will fire up a lot the stock market and overall also the crypto market and also the dxy could be in this potential ascending broadening wedge which is a bearish pattern so even though we could now see here a retest of this resistance up here at around 93 dollars and also test the 200 daily moving average latest here i'm expecting a big rejection and then we most likely gonna break out here to the downside from this bearish pattern uh, very very soon uh, most likely within a couple of weeks or months and we can also zoom out here a bit you can see that the dxy is clear in a downtrend and this uh, reversal point here or this bounce that we are seeing right now is coming from history if we go back in time you can see that after this huge rise up here we had a lot of support here in 2017 when the dxy bounced again here to the upside and the same thing could happen right now i don't think that we're gonna see such a huge move to the upside like we have seen after 2017 i think this is kind of a dead cat bounce or at least a breather before maybe we continue to go lower things could only start to get really serious and bearish for the crypto market and overall for the stock market if the dxy is able to go above the ema ribbons here in the weekly time frame so above 93 dollar and then start to create a support above so basically if we are able to go above the 200 daily moving average and start here an uptrend then of course things could look very very serious here and we should expect uh, maybe another bear market incoming pretty soon my friends if the dxy is 
able to do that but i don't think that this uh, will happen now maybe in the future at some point yes but uh, not at the moment i think what we're seeing right now is just a breather and we most likely are getting rejected here so let's hope so and of course the nasdaq also yesterday had a big plunge because of the dxy and we also closed below the 100 daily moving average and also this has not happened since a very long time and that's why also here in the nasdaq i think we're going to see continuation to the downside potentially to test the 200 daily moving average here at the eleven thousand seven hundred dollar or at least uh, then bounce here somewhere between uh, these supports and resistance that we had here first at around eleven thousand and then of course here where we are right now at twelve thousand five hundred dollar so this area here should act as a very strong support now since we had it previously as a huge resistance so let's hope that we are having this area here as a strong support here in the nasdaq and all the latest here at the 200 daily moving average have a big bounce to the upside we are very oversold here so that's why also here i'm expecting a huge bounce pretty soon and if the stock market is pumping and the dxy is falling of course that is also in favor for the crypto market and that's why we are hoping that also the nasdaq is gonna recover pretty soon so we have even more fire here in the crypto space and of course this is always bullish for bitcoin so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to smash that like button if you're not smashing this like button then just smash anything else but smash something also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to be part of our great crypto community then just use the invitation link down below here to sign up for free to our chat you just have to go then here to read first and click here the thumbs up button to confirm that you are a human and not a bot like this you have free access to our crypto chat and if you want also the live stream access where you can see my own indicator on three time frames for bitcoin so you can easily trade bitcoin with this indicator then you have to send me a little donation of course to support the stream and the channel by just contact me here on discord you just have to send me a private message you can send a little donation and then you have access to this indicator which you can use to trade bitcoin especially if you're trading over on bybit or femex and if you still need an account over here check out my referral links down below here because if you're using my referral links to all the exchanges that i recommend you down below here you will get some extra money and some extra bonus like that you can also do some free trades if you're completely new in the crypto space so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye